I'm here at Nova, let's go meet the team. I'm really looking forward to going and seeing the guys at Nova. Like, I've never seen what goes on behind the scenes of the radio and it will really, be really good to finally see like, a radio studio. I've never seen that before. Channel 9 do a wonderful job uh, raising money for the sick kids, uh, not just here in Brisbane but around the state uh, who are facing incredible challenges that, quite frankly, you can't even fathom. And Jasper, welcome to our show, GC boy, uh, like myself, who 12 months ago was playing soccer, loving life. Why don't you explain what happened to you? I started getting a hip pain, like in my lower right hip. And then after like a few months of it not going away and it getting like, not worse, but it wasn't getting any better, we started getting an MRI and then we found that it wasn't, wasn't a sports injury. Uh, it was showed um, a Ewing sarcoma in my right hip. I've not heard of Ewing's sarcoma before, but that's what you were diagnosed yeah, with. Yeah, it's like, it's a type of cancer that forms in like the bone and soft tissue. So were you not feeling, you weren't feeling unwell when no, you No, I wasn't it? feeling unwell. It was more, it was just pain when I was running. And, okay. Mm. The bravery and the, the positive attitude really sort of blew me away. If he didn't have the attitude that he's had, which is amazing, then it would have been very difficult for us. So I think he probably thought about us in that aspect, which is quite amazing for a 16 year old. I did around nine months of chemotherapy. I also did four weeks of radiation, as well as the surgery to cut out the tumour. When I had my surgery, they, um, they took 14 centimetres out of my fibula and I got a massive scar all the way across my hip. I actually think it's, it looks like a shark bite. Yeah, Jasper, am I, am I too close? Last week I got to meet my hero, Paul Rudd, who's in all my favorite movies, and it was such a good experience and it was really good to talk to him. What's the big picture for Jasper here? What is it you want to do? Be in a Paul Rudd movie. And the reason I find Juice TV so interesting, because that's kind of the stuff that I want to get into in my future is talking and like presenting and stuff like that. That's been the one bonus, I guess, out of all of this is that he's gotten to focus on something he really wanted to do, which is being in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my treatment's fully over. Just, I got a like, six week checkup with my oncologist and scans every three months to make sure that there's nothing growing again. Well, I have missed out on like basically a year of being with my friends. I like grade 11, big year, I was getting my driver's license and everything, my 16th birthday and just, yeah, all that. But I've also gained a lot of stuff that I feel like I'm a lot more resilient now because of having to go through something like this. 12 months later, like what, what, what has the last year been like for you? Uh, stressful, stressful. I've been like, my outlook on it was this is something I have to do. I have to get through this. Yeah. What do you want to do in life? I want to sit there. I reckon you could, mate. Oh, mm -hmm. like, mate, you, you, TV, you, I like mate, you are very yeah. natural mm. um, behind the microphone. We've been trying to get rid of him for years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your timing's yeah. immaculate now. Hey, <laughs> you're comfortable here, mate. Yeah. You look good. That's you can cool. do this. This doesn't define you this last 12 months, mate. Yeah. This makes you stronger. On you, Jasper. Thanks for coming Great in, to meet mate. you, mate. Thank you. Thanks <laughs> for having me.